All right, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to divide with rational expressions. First of all, don't forget how to, to divide with fractions in general. For example, if I have 2 thirds and I want to divide that by 4 fifths, all right, if you want to divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So this is the same thing as 2 thirds times 5 fourths. Okay, and then I could go ahead and simplify this. For example, um, 2 and 4 are both divisible by 2. So if I do that, this will become 1 and this will become 2. So my final answer would be, let's see, 1 times 5 is 5, 3 times 2 is 6. So 5 6. So that's one thing, okay? Again, to divide by a fraction, you simply multiply by the reciprocal, turn it upside down. Okay, now here's one other thing. When we talk about uh, restrictions, we learn that, for example, if I have 1 over um, x plus 5, this is going to have a restriction that x cannot equal negative 5. Because that, if x were allowed to be negative 5, then I'd have negative 5 plus 5, and that would make 0. You can't divide by 0. Okay, so there's a natural question. When you're dividing by a fraction, okay, say if I have um, x plus 2 over x plus 3, okay, how many restrictions am I going to have? Now, the reality is I am going to have three restrictions, okay? All three of these. Um, this fraction is like normal. In fact, let me just make it really clear. Let me put another one up here. Say if I had x plus 1 up here. Still, I'm going to have three restrictions. Okay? This is going to give me a restriction. This is going to give me a restriction. But also, this is going to give me a restriction. Okay? Um, the only thing that's not going to give me a restriction is the x plus 1. So obviously this will be a restriction because um, it's a denominator. You can't divide by 0. So um, x plus 5 cannot equal 0. That means x cannot equal negative 5. So I'll have a restriction there. Um, clearly, x plus 3 cannot be 0 because it is also a denominator. Okay, so that means x cannot equal negative 3. Now, the reason why this can't be um, 0 is because if this were 0, okay, then I would have, just rewrite this for a second, then I'd have x plus 1 over x plus 5 divided by 0 over x plus 3. Okay, now, 0 divided by anything is 0. Okay, so that means this whole thing is going to be 0. So then I'd have x plus 1 over x plus 5 divided by 0. Okay, because it doesn't matter what's down here. I could put a 2 or a 5. 0 divided by whatever's down here is going to give me 0. But then I'm back to a problem. You can't divide by 0. Okay, so this, uh, when you're dividing, neither the numerator nor the denominator can be 0. Okay, so again, when you're dividing, neither one of these two is allowed to be 0. So I'm going to have an additional restriction that you're not used to, that x cannot be negative uh, 2. Okay, so that's the main thing I need to point out. X can be negative 1, that's not a problem. All of this other stuff is forbidden. All right, let's get back to the uh, actual problem now. So problem number one, we are going to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so this is going to give us um, 10n over 9 times 16 over 13 and squared. Okay. Um, 
I like to simplify as much as I can early. So this n is going to cancel out one of these n's. Okay, and just leave the n. Now, what else? What else? I don't see anything else. This is divisible by 3. Neither one of these are. <clears throat> so we might be ready for the final answer then. Okay, let's see. 10 times 16 is clearly 160. Okay, that's all that's in the top. All right, I've got the one end in the bottom. 9 times 13 is going to be 117. So I will have 117, and don't forget your, your one end in the bottom. So this is the simplified answer. And now the restrictions. Um, n cannot equal 0. Okay? Remember, when you're dividing, um, neither the numerator nor the denominator can be 0. All right? If n were 0, this, this would be 0. That would make this whole thing 0. And you can't divide by 0. So that's a problem. Whoops. I meant to erase. Okay, so n cannot be 0. All right, number three, multiply by the reciprocal. So this will be 2 sevenths times 8x squared over 18. Okay, I like to simplify things now as much as I can. 2 and 18 are both divisible by 2. All right. Um, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Okay. I don't see anything else that can be divided. So here comes the final answer. Um, I've got 8x squared over um, 7 times 9 is 63. So this is the simplified answer. Um, restriction x cannot equal 0. Alright, right here, x is in the denominator. It can't be 0. Okay. Number 5. Multiply by the reciprocal. So this will be 7 over 18 times 9a over 6. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, let's see, both of these are divisible by 3. Okay, so that's going to be 3 and 2. Okay, anything else? Yeah, but, you know, I'm going to clean this up a little bit first. So, so far, that gives me... Let me slide on over here. So that gives me... So I have 7 over 18 still times 3a over 2. Okay, remember, treat this like it's one fraction. All right, anything that's high and low can be reduced, even if they're not in the same fraction. So, for example, 13 and 18 are both divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Okay, and I think that uh, brings us ready for our final answer, which is um, 7a over 12. All right, restrictions. Looking back at the original problem, I see a is in the denominator. a cannot equal 0. Number seven. Okay, let's multiply by the reciprocal. All right, so this will be 4n over n minus 6. Okay, times. All right, and this is going to be the reciprocal. So it'll be 8n minus 48 over 4n. All right, I just did the reciprocal here. 
All right, it's time for a little factoring. So here, uh, I'm just recopying this part on the left. Okay, eight is a common factor, so I could pull out that eight. Uh, all right, so that's going to leave n minus six. Okay, and I'm just bringing down the four n. Now it's time to cancel things. All right, the four n's cancel out, and the n minus sixes cancel out. So that leaves me with simply eight. Okay, but looking across, okay, um, for example, right here, I know the n cannot equal six. So let me put a box around this. So n cannot be six because I have a, that would make a zero denominator. And uh, remember, neither one of these can be zero. Okay, the, neither the numerator nor the denominator is allowed to be zero. Okay, so um, that means n cannot equal zero because of that right there. Okay, and I think we already have the n minus six. Okay, um, this one right here, this denominator, you know, I would factor this like we did before. Uh, but this is just going to give us the n cannot equal 6, 1. And we already have it. So these are the two restrictions for number 7. <laughs> All right, we are definitely going to multiply by the reciprocal, um, but we might as well do some factoring as we go. Um, okay, so you know what? I changed my mind. I'm just going to multiply by the reciprocal first. So this will make 7a squared over um, 7a to the third power plus 56, whoops, times a squared plus 7a minus 8 over 2, okay, multiplying by the reciprocal. Now, let's factor some stuff. Okay, um, I feel like changing color, so. So I've got 7a squared over uh, GCF here. 7a squared is the GCF, so I'll pull out 7a squared. Um, that's going to leave behind a plus 8. Okay, I just did the GCF there. Now here, this one, I'm looking at this trinomial. I'm betting it factors as a binomial times a binomial. So a, a, I'm thinking <clears throat> 8 times 1, positive 8, negative 1. Okay, in the denominator, I have 2. So now I start looking for stuff to cancel. Okay, the um, a plus 8 and the a plus 8. All right, the a, the a squares, the sevens, okay, what does that leave behind? So this entire thing is gone. So that just leaves um, a minus one over two. <clears throat> now time for the restrictions. Okay, um, from the first fraction, a cannot equal negative eight. All right, you can see that right here. Also, I have a restriction from that a squared. A can't be zero, and a can't be negative eight. Okay, so a cannot equal zero. A cannot equal negative eight. Okay, now remember, this fraction over here came from this fraction right here. So neither the numerator or the denominator is allowed to be zero. So obviously you don't have to worry about two, but um, a, uh, because of this, a cannot equal negative eight, but because of this, a cannot equal positive one. 
Okay, so we have three restrictions on that one. Okay, and um, number 11. This will be the last problem in this video. Okay, I think I'll factor it first this time. If I look at this trinomial and I factor it, Okay, that's binomial, binomial, x times x, um, let's see, 8, um, I'm sorry, um, 16, could be uh, 2 times 8, I'm betting that, so 2 times 8, okay, 2 and 8, so I'm betting positive and positive there. Uh, now I'm looking at the denominator now. Okay, I see x squared can be x times x. 8, um, 2 times 4, I'm betting this time. All right, 2 times 4. Inner 2x, outer 4x, that makes 6. Okay, now I um, have divided by 1 over x plus 4. Okay, now right here, this is going to give me several restrictions. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to write them down now. Um, neither one of these denominators can be zero, so that means x cannot equal negative 2 because of the x plus 2. x cannot equal negative 4 because of the x plus 4. Now, neither uh, in when you're dividing, whatever fraction you're dividing by, neither the numerator nor the denominator can be zero. So in this case, the denominator um, cannot equal zero. So x cannot equal negative four. Well, we already had that, didn't we? So it's just the two restrictions. Okay. Now we have to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so if I do that, okay, um, I might as well cancel these out now. There's really no need to be waiting on that. All right, so over here now I have x plus 8 over x plus 4, and this is going to become the reciprocal, so it would be like x plus 4 over 1. Now that I have x plus 4 is like high and low, I can cancel those out. So that's just going to leave x plus 8. Okay, and don't forget the restrictions that you already wrote down. So really it's just x plus 8 now. Okay, and that is the last problem on, uh, on the front page. And this is long enough for a video, so I'm going to end this video here. And we'll pick up with number 12 on the next video. So I'll see you on that next video.